Personal Development for Beginners and Dummies. Written by Giovanni Richters. Narrated by Tim Cicerelli. Introduction. Ever since people began to realize the true meaning of happiness, peace, satisfaction, and success, they have constantly been in pursuit of it. Despite countless disasters, people have crafted ingenious ways to improve the quality of their lives. When it comes to achieving a feeling of inner peace, people often feel lost. Despite groundbreaking improvements in science, psychology, neuroscience, and other useful resources to learn from, people tend to feel buried under the weight of their expectations. Why does this happen? And why is it such a common phenomenon? It's because you are constantly evolving, and if you don't change, you get stuck. In turn, this keeps you from being able to improve and achieve greater things in life. The first step is to acknowledge that you are growing and changing. Now is the time for you to take control. Evaluate your goals, values, and desires, and work towards accomplishing them by playing to your strengths and addressing your weaknesses. Additionally, build new skills to accompany the change and abandon the idea of living in the rut you're currently stuck in. As Mark Twain once famously said, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So, throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. Now is the time to start making changes and proving your worth. Now is the time to improve yourself. In many ways, self-improvement helps you unleash your potential. You not only get to learn more about yourself, but also understand your strengths and weaknesses, all of which can help you become a better, more aware person. By improving yourself, you are ensuring a brighter future for yourself and also attracting like-minded people. They will inspire you to be better and compel you to grow alongside them. As such, self-improvement affects every area of your life, which you will realize as you listen on. This practical audiobook will help you grasp the true meanings of self-improvement, its fundamental principles, and how to achieve it. More importantly, it will debunk myths claiming that self-improvement is only about setting professional goals, reading more, making money, and such. Development starts from within, and this audiobook will show you the right path. Listen on to kick off your journey towards self-development and turn your life around. Chapter 1. Key Areas of Self-Improvement The guiding principles in your life push you to develop yourself and keep growing. This lets you adjust to the new norms and govern your way of living. Focus on each area to experience beneficial improvements in your life. Health Your journey toward self-improvement begins with your body. You must take care of your health and it will ultimately allow you to fulfill all your goals and desires. By health, it isn't simply your physical health, but your mental, emotional, and spiritual health as well. These are intimately connected. Once you develop these areas, your health will drastically improve, helping unleash and maximize your potential. Make physical exercise a priority in your everyday life. Start with 30 minutes of low-intensity workout and work your way up from there. In parallel, eat right. As they say, you are what you eat. So it's important to incorporate whole foods into your meals and follow a balanced diet. Additionally, drink more water throughout the day. Improving your physical health is bound to impact your mental and emotional well-being in rewarding ways. You will experience less stress, feel happier and more energized, which is key to a healthy state of mind if you are prone to anxiety and stress. Practice meditation to feel better and get more grounded. While this is a straightforward, perhaps overstated approach, most people ignore the importance of taking care of their physical and mental health. Since this is an essential area to focus on, we will discuss physical, mental, and emotional well-being in further detail in one of the upcoming chapters. Relationships There are two ways to balance self-improvement and relationships. If you focus on improving yourself and are on a trajectory of personal development, you will most likely find a partner who is on the path of self-improvement too. Since you will attract like-mindedness, 
Meeting a partner who shares the same mindset as yours is highly possible. Your partner will also help you overcome your weak points and help you become a more enlightened person. On your quest for inner stability, you will come across as more attractive to those around you, allowing you to attract people who admire you and share similar goals. What's more, you can also enhance your existing relationships by practicing self-improvement. Your current relationships may not be working out due to inactive participation on your end. In a way, you cannot blame yourself because you are still trying to find yourself. Taking steps toward self-improvement will help. More importantly, it will motivate your partner to become a better person, which is a requisite for a fulfilling and long-lasting relationship. Whether it's your partner, children, parents, or friends, every kind of relationship can be improved by focusing on self-improvement. Career Self-improvement is not just personal. Your professional life is also at stake. In fact, your career is affected by your commitment to self-improvement. Not only will you attract better opportunities, but also build your reputation within your field. This is especially important if you are an entrepreneur on the verge of starting a business. When it comes to improving yourself professionally, you should focus on polishing your existing skills and acquire new, in-demand ones. By expanding your skill set, you can increase your market value and eventually land your dream job. Before a company decides to hire you, they assess whether you are a good investment. The only way to convince them is by showcasing your skills, integrity, and your value contribution, which comes with self-development. Besides skills, focus on other areas of improvement such as job prospection and mastering interviews to attract worthy opportunities. Your quest toward self-improvement also involves building self-confidence, which is fundamental during interviews and securing a new position. While a solid resume is crucial to land your dream job, you must work on developing your skills, self-esteem, and values. Whether you are an entrepreneur or a company employee, pursuing self-improvement will carve multiple career paths for you. Consider aspects and skills such as communication, organization, leadership, work ethic, and problem solving to succeed in your professional endeavors. Remember that your knowledge about your discipline is becoming obsolete and each passing day you can only stay on track if you pledge to keep learning. Finances Today's choices also have a direct impact on your financial growth and future security. While you can secure your career with self-improvement techniques, you can safeguard your financial security by enclosing any knowledge gaps. Learn more about ways to earn money and making the right investments. Adopt small habits to save and achieve financial freedom for retirement, starting today. Essentially, earning more money entails gathering enough knowledge and finding ways to capitalize on your skills. No matter your activity sector, this will maximize your growth potential while maintaining high professional standards, allowing you to earn a living in a meaningful and rewarding way. In the long run, you should never allow yourself to stop learning and gaining new knowledge. Every discipline naturally experiences changes, adjustments, and new knowledge. If you think you know enough, you are effectively creating a roadblock for yourself. You can break this dilemma with continuous learning, which is the only way to adapt and achieve financial freedom. It also works to prevent the vicious cycle of living from paycheck to paycheck. In the end, you will be able to take control of your expenses, repay your debts, and make saving a consistent goal. Self-care. Most of us think of living life as an obligation. We wake up, have breakfast, and get ready for work. The truth is, we were never meant to work a nine to five or follow boring, never ending routines. This kind of schedule has pushed many people into an inextricable dead end. People have forgotten to pursue the things they like and look forward to, which may also be the cause with you. What do you do to feed your soul? Are you pursuing your hobbies? Do you take the time to do what you love every once in a while? Are you good at taking care of your physical and mental health? If none of these answers compelled you to nod an enthusiasm, this indicates a serious imbalance in your life. Take care of yourself as much as you can. Do the things you love the most, whether it's exercising, reading, making art, cooking, baking, caring for your skin, or treating yourself to a relaxing spa day. 
by indulging in self-care and following a beneficial routine, you are bound to feel better about yourself, which is a major part of self-development. Ideally, you would get an opportunity to confront your emotions and acknowledge them. Self-care is an effective way to channel and navigate how you are feeling and receive positive energy. This also relates to self-love. It might sound like a cliche. Practicing self-love is crucial to seeing yourself in a better, more positive light. It affects your mental and emotional health, which can massively enhance your outlook towards life and expand your horizons. Focusing on these five fundamentals in your life will bring you closer to self-improvement. Once you shift your focus to these principles of self-improvement, you will start feeling better and experiencing a boost in self-confidence, skills, productivity, and well-being. All these areas are somehow interconnected. A minor change in one will significantly impact the other. So make sure to push yourself and start making improvements in each one to experience a wholesome change. Chapter 2. The Importance of Goals Set goals to fulfill your dreams. Your goals form a path and steer you towards your final destination. In many ways, this practice works to untangle your mind in order to provide a clear direction. You should measure your goals and keep track of your progress while committing to your plan. That being said, the practice of setting goals urges you to rest and recharge. Follow these steps to practice effective goal setting. Step 1. Ask yourself questions. Your desire for success is fed by self-reflection, awareness, and resoluteness. Since everyone has their own definition of success, every set of objectives will vary. Your definition will lead you in a different direction than your peers. If you are ambiguous about your goals, start interrogating yourself and figure out your life's purpose. Ask questions like, what do I want to achieve? Where do I see myself in the next five years? What do I enjoy but could be better at? How do I define success? What kinds of accomplishments will help me drive forward? These will help you learn more about yourself and devise your objectives. Write down the first answer that comes to your mind without overthinking. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers. By answering these questions one by one, you will notice a pattern emerging. It will be your dedicated path to shaping or reshaping your objectives. Step 2. Prioritize your objectives. If you have several desires that you wish to fulfill, prioritize your objectives to view them as tangible goals. By flashing a simple why at your life's purpose, you can find answers to what you genuinely want. It can be landing your dream job, earning your college degree with honors, buying the first house, or being completely debt-free. Of course, they do not necessarily have to be material possessions. You can also aspire to achieve happiness or peace of mind. If you know what you want but are not sure how to get there, this step is bound to help you. Step 3. Write them down. By penning down your goals, you create a clear picture of the milestones and objectives you will achieve. This will imprint your desires in your mind to help them stick. Write them down and place them on your work desk, mirror, front door, refrigerator, or any other visible spot around your home or office. This will remind you of your main purpose and provide the motivation and drive you need. Break down your goals into smaller, achievable milestones. Say your final goal is to achieve financial independence. Everyone has their own definition of financial freedom, which is why you must outline yours. Start by writing your main goal on a piece of paper and deconstruct it into smaller steps. In this case, your first step will be to apply for your well-paid dream job and will push you closer to your goal. If needed, divide your first milestone further into even smaller steps and set an accomplishment time frame for each. Step 4. Take the SMART goal approach. Whether you're crafting new goals for yourself, whether personally, academically, or professionally, several factors will influence your likelihood of success. That's why your objectives should be SMART, as in S, specific. Your goals must be specific. They should reflect the why, what, where, and how you will get closer to your objectives. M, measurable. How will you know if you are truly fulfilling your goal? 
What are the milestones or benchmarks to determine that? Are you setting deadlines or monitoring your progress through your development? Record a specific measurement. It can be defined on your own to measure your goals. A. Attainable. There is no point in setting goals that you can't achieve. This does not mean that they should be easy. Establish goals that are ambitious yet attainable. If not, you are simply wasting your time and energy trying to achieve an objective that will never be fulfilled. R. Realistic. In a similar vein, your goals should be realistic too. Visualizing a mirage of hopes and dreams that will never be realized is impractical and elusive. So be pragmatic and set goals that you believe are feasible and within your reach. T. Time bound. Lastly, set a timetable for each of your objectives. You should be able to fulfill a goal within a specific time frame. This will ensure that you can fulfill all your objectives in the next few years within a designated and precise time frame. Step 5. Share your objectives. Now, many will tell you to never discuss your goals and plans with others for the fear of jinxing them. Consider an opposite scenario. If you speak openly about your aspirations to at least four or five people, you will feel accountable to fulfill your goals by writing, documenting, sharing, and discussing your goals. You paint yourself a bigger picture that is necessary for success. This will also make you more committed to achieving your dreams. Reviewing, assessing, and revisiting your goals is the last step to accomplishing them. Keep track of your progress and monitor your goals once every week or month. Depending upon the time frame you've allowed for yourself, keep a review date to measure your progress. Setting your goals is the first concrete step you can take toward self-development. Besides keeping you motivated and driven, it will force you to think strategically and creatively about what you want to accomplish in life. All questions aside, you must be ready and willing to change. Since this requires plenty of hard work, dedication, and perseverance, you must commit to putting in the effort and not stop until you've reached your objective. Unless you don't have this innate drive, the goal-setting approach won't prove as helpful. Chapter 3. Find Inspiration and Motivation Next on your self-improvement journey is finding motivation and inspiration around you. Essentially, that relentless need to improve yourself and grow stress from staying inspired and motivated. In this chapter, we will explore several aspects relating to help you find a mentor and how to learn from like-minded people, along with a brief overview of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Get a mentor. Finding a life coach will accelerate the progress of achieving self-improvement and reaching your goal. Whether it's taking a new career path, improving your interpersonal skills, or assessing your self-worth, a mentor will accompany you and help maximize your progress through every step of your journey. Your mentor can be your parent, an old friend, your boss, a colleague, an entrepreneur, or an experienced individual in your immediate circle. Having a mentor will keep you grounded and help develop your character, which is essential for self-improvement. The mentee will benefit from valuable insight and sense of balance and pride. It can be beneficial for the mentor as well, as they will learn and grow from their journey with you. Although the mentor does not receive any tangible rewards, they get lessons on leadership. Meet your mentor regularly, seek their wisdom, and take notes of relevant discussions and concepts. Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs In the 1940s, famous psychologist Abraham Maslow devised a hierarchy of human needs and motivation. It states that the growth, psychological, and self-fulfillment needs drive individuals towards personal development. Categorizing your needs promotes a sense of structure and can be an effective way to understand your life's purpose. This is how Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs is divided. Basic needs, physiological needs including food, water, physical activity, rest, and warmth. Safety needs, safety and security are vital to living peacefully. Psychological needs, belongingness and love needs, including friendships, love, and other personal and social relationships. Esteem needs, since a person's esteem can be measured by status, accomplishments, independence, and dominance, 
Everyone aspires to feel accomplished. Prestige is also an added value to a human's esteem needs. Self-fulfillment needs. Self-actualization needs. When it comes to self-improvement and finding inspiration, this is the ultimate step where individuals achieve their potential and begin to reap the fruit of their labor. Also known as transcendence, self-actualization is a feeling of fulfillment and accomplishment of one's aspirations. Maslow's hierarchy of needs classifies a person's positive aspects that can be achieved through various stages, as shown on the scale. Every human should be conditioned to experience life to the fullest. Upon reaching the peak, an individual will experience joy and contentment. Note that this peak is not necessarily the final stage. Self-actualization is a process where a person continuously grows and betters themselves. Furthermore, every individual has their own perception and path towards self-actualization. Luckily, it can be practiced and achieved at any point in time and in various subjects and disciplines. For instance, while someone's definition of self-actualization revolves around academic success, someone else may consider it an athletic achievement. As soon as a person fulfills the needs at the bottom of the hierarchy, they will experience growth. In other words, fulfilling physical, physiological, and financial needs will help you take steps towards self-actualization and self-esteem. Since self-actualization is a significant part of self-improvement, we will expand more on this aspect later on. Surround yourself with like-minded people. Meeting and spending time with a like-minded peer will inevitably help you grow more. We are social creatures who make a sense of belonging and look for friendship, affection, and love. We are attracted to people with similar frequencies, many of whom become a permanent part of our lives. So make sure that the people around you are as driven and ready to grow as you. As Wilfred Peterson once skillfully said, walk with the dreamers, the believers, the courageous, the cheerful, the planners, the doers, the successful people with their heads in the clouds and their feet on the ground. If you seek self-improvement, you can inspire people around you as well, which will reciprocate in a positive light. Your circle of friends and acquaintances should uplift you rather than bring you down. In a way, the people you hang out with are a reflection of your standards. Stay away from toxic individuals who slack off and do not encourage you to fulfill your goals and push your limits. As they say, if you are the smartest person in the room, then you are in the wrong room. While surrounding yourself with like-minded and gifted people is important, the ones you hang out with should also have a positive outlook. After all, your worth and value will mostly be measured by the five people you are closest to. Find Inspiration Seeking inspiration is another way to keep growing, especially when you are facing creative blocks. To a large extent, getting inspired is triggered internally. Even though it waxes and wanes along one's creative process, you can still seek external sources to find inspiration. In reality, we all can use inspiration to remain positive and feed our souls. This not only boosts your creativity, but gives you something to look forward to, particularly during those times of hardship and uncertainty. At times, feeling inspired is the only way to clear the mayhem you are experiencing and moving forward with your life. There are countless ways to find inspiration around you. Reading, exercising, meditating, painting, or a stroll in the park are a couple of ways to recharge your batteries. Inspiration can be both active and passive. Finding active inspiration motivates you to create something with great purpose, whereas passive inspiration enables you to see the skills and talents of other people and draw your motivation from them. At times when you find yourself in the doldrums, you may conclude that you are just not skilled enough for a certain task. In truth, you simply lack inspiration for the creative juices to flow. By engaging with your entourage and surroundings, you can hope to ignite that spark that will unlock all the doors in front of you. Motivational Intuition Most people get their motivational intuition through gut feelings. Thinking things through often prevents us from digging deeper and following our intuition. Those who consider themselves realists tend to see their objectives with a practical approach. For them, listening to their gut feeling is trivial, even fearful. 
The easiest way to find motivation in your intuition is to shun the thoughts that are created to play safe, some of which include common sense or I should have. By entertaining these thoughts, you are inhibiting your potential and deflecting. As a result, you are shutting yourself from experiencing your real intuitional motivation. Whether you are looking for motivation to relieve a midlife crisis or overcome a common obstacle, your role your motivational instincts play is a deciding factor in your life's journey. Let's look at it from a different perspective. While the idea of digging deeper into your soul is largely overstated, it is not the only way to find inspiration and motivation. As stated, you can find inspiration from something as simple as taking a walk in the park or getting into a deep meditative state. By facing your thoughts and acknowledging your feelings at every turn, you can strengthen your motivational intuition and stay inspired under any circumstances. Ultimately, it's important to take it one step at a time. If you feel motivated, you are likely to get excited and get one grand idea. If you cannot execute it to perfection, divide it into smaller steps that are attainable and realistic, just like the goal-setting approach we learned previously. Chapter 4. Take Time to Learn. Develop a Growth Mindset. The best approach to self-development is to take things slowly and advance at your own pace. The gravest mistake you can make is focusing on quick fixes. Your success can only be achieved with consistent, gradual change, which comes with developing a solid growth mindset. Despite different temperaments, learning abilities, skills, and talents, most of us can develop a growth mindset to stimulate our personal development. Fixed versus Growth Mindset The first step in cultivating a growth mindset is learning to distinguish it from a fixed mindset. A person with a fixed mindset is often stuck with preconceived notions and is unable to grow from their experiences. They may suffer from creative blocks or fail to find inspiration. In extreme cases, they may develop mental health conditions such as chronic anxiety and depression. Having a fixed mindset inhibits not only your mental health, but also your growth potential. If you cannot accept constructive criticism, are threatened by other people's successes, or tend to give up easily, chances are you have a fixed mindset. By contrast, developing a growth mindset allows you to embrace challenges and enrich your curiosity. You are eager to find inspiration, learn, and accept criticism without taking offense. The best way to stay motivated and avoid repeating the same mistakes is by reflecting on your past. Amend your past mistakes and redefine your mindset as you seek self-improvement. Most importantly, focus on the journey and the process instead of fixating on the results. When you seek quality and stability, successful outcomes will always follow. In the end, a growth mindset grants you freedom, whereas a fixed mindset caps your potential. Read, read, read. One of the most effective ways to improve yourself is by turning reading into a sacred habit. Find what interests you and topics you would like to explore and read as much as you can. Whether it's a book by your favorite author, a light-hearted comic book, or the back of your shampoo bottle, read whatever you can and whenever you can. If you are tired of eating the same meals, buy a new recipe book and read through the pages. Your surroundings abound with knowledge and there is so much to learn. You are not even aware of the things you don't know yet. Feeding your curiosity means feeding your soul. Read interesting blogs regularly and subscribe to your local newspaper. By keeping up on current events, you'll become more aware and better able to figure out your reality. This will also help you to become active in social conversations. Needless to say, the more you read, the more knowledge you acquire, and the more you grow. Every spiritual guru, self-improvement coach, and inspiration mentor will recommend reading for personal growth. Dedicate 30 to 60 minutes to read a couple of articles or chapters of a book. The best time to read is before bed, as it promotes relaxation and keeps you from scrolling aimlessly on social media. To stay motivated, Join a book club or create a list that includes your want-to-read pieces. Practice Mindfulness Achieving a growth mindset will prove much easier when you are in optimal physical and mental condition. 
Mindfulness, which is the practice of staying present in the moment and acknowledging your current state of mind, will help a great deal. It not only reshapes your mindset, but also inspires you to be more optimistic. Practicing mindfulness can have a positive effect on your daily routine. In fact, individuals who engage in mindfulness exercises claim that the practice provides momentary breathing spaces into their stressful routine. It calms you down rids your mind of stress, and helps you pursue your goals. One way to practice mindfulness is by meditating for 10 to 15 minutes upon waking up and before going to bed. Find a peaceful spot, get into a comfortable position, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing. Play calming music to foster concentration. Diffusing essential oils in the room can also complement the effect. Other methods involve guided imagery, visualization techniques, and relaxation practices. While these enhance mindfulness, you must refrain from negative thoughts or daydreaming. They drain your energy and shift your focus on unnecessary or harmful thinking, which can induce stress and anxiety. Trust yourself. While it is easier said than done, trusting yourself is key to developing your mindset. Be easy on yourself, though. Taking yourself too seriously will cause you to make mistakes. Even if you err, try to learn from it instead of giving yourself a hard time. Any that does not involve overcoming past mistakes will hardly help you grow. Be open to criticism and embrace failure. Always welcome constructive feedback from your mentor and those around you to get a fresh perspective in addressing your shortcomings. Self-trust will also allow you to find your authentic self, which is what is needed in the end. In parallel, learning more about your strengths and weaknesses will support your growth mindset development. Everyone has their own strong and weak points. It is important to explore them and acknowledge them if you ever hope to cultivate your strengths and remedy your weaknesses. Focus on the process. As established, focusing on the process is more important than fixating on outcomes. Put your best effort into the process to bring about positive and encouraging results. Do not despair if it takes a while. You cannot expect to eat the fruit from the seed you planted today. Stay focused and trust yourself. The end result will exceed your wildest expectations when you fully commit to this process. Whether it's becoming financially independent, learning a new language, or picking up a new instrument, every process takes time. So keep practicing persevere and don't give up. In parallel, do not be afraid to ask for help. It is in no way a sign of weakness. Seeking external help helps you take a step back and find ways to reassess how you will fulfill your objectives. But do not depend on others entirely. If you feel that you are not there yet, it is normal. Simply make sure that you are dedicating enough time, effort, and patience to make it happen. Chapter 5 physical, mental, and emotional well-being. After discussing the importance of physical, mental, and emotional well-being at length, it is time to dig deeper and understand their relevance and significance in the journey toward self-improvement. Physical and mental well-being. It goes without saying that if you are not physically and mentally well, you cannot focus on your tasks and goals, thereby delaying your success. Taking care of your body is imperative to keep any health issues and related costs at bay, but also to perform and grow to your maximum potential. Your mind and body are inherently connected and both depend on each other in ways we can barely comprehend. Besides working out regularly and adopting a balanced and diversified diet, your physical health also depends on your current state of mind and vice versa. Consider these helpful tips to enhance your physical and mental well-being and take a step closer to self-improvement. Incorporate physical activity into your daily routine. It can be a 30-minute walk, swimming distancing, dancing, or a weightlifting session. Drink at least 2 liters or 8 cups of water throughout the day. Water helps improve your skin texture, regulate your body temperature, and facilitates weight loss, among other vital functions. It also prevents dehydration, which can ward off serious health issues. Focus on nutrition. Include a variety of wholesome and nutritious foods in your diet. A well-balanced diet will keep diseases away, provide plenty of energy to burn off, and improve your mood. 
you need a healthy balance of carbohydrates, protein, healthy fats, fibers, essential vitamins and minerals. Conduct research and consult your GP or a dietitian for a tailored, adequate diet. Avoid consuming caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine in excess. Smoking and drinking are harmful practices that can impact your health and cause irreversible damage in the long run. Try to limit these as much as possible and cut them off in time. Get enough sleep. You must sleep at least 7 to 8 hours every single night to get proper rest and recharge your body for the next day. Lack of quality sleep will make you tired, affecting your productivity, concentration, and work. Sleep deprivation also increases stress, which is never good for your mental health. Enjoy time off. Work five to six days a week and take a day or two off to relax and unwind. This is necessary to escape reality and rekindle your true self during your free time. Taking a break can also help you realize your true needs. What is it that you need? Is it a short nap after work? Perhaps going for a run? Or is it writing your thoughts in your diary? Enjoying time off will help recalibrate what your body and mind need to activate in your journey of self-discovery and personal development. Many people tend to be insecure due to their poor health or overweight figure. For them, the first and most crucial step toward self-improvement is enhancing their physical condition. By becoming fit, you will feel more confident and experience a high self-esteem, which will benefit all areas of your life. For example, a newly acquired confidence will improve your communication and interpersonal skills, push you to interact more in public, and pursue your passions. Thinking in terms of, if I can lose weight and become the best physical version of myself, I can achieve anything in life, is a formidable motor. Although it is a small step toward self-improvement, you will thank yourself for trying and succeeding. Self-Awareness Self-awareness can be practiced alongside mindfulness. The former keeps you present at the moment and helps you confront your true emotions. Have you defined your purpose? What are you striving for? What is it that you wish you have or do before you die? What ignites the fire in you? Questions like these will make you realize who you are and where you are headed. If you have managed to define your goals, assemble them using a vision board by finding relevant images. These can be photographs, pictures in magazines, or inspirational quotes. Place your vision board strategically in your bedroom or living room and let it be in your line of sight at all times. This will keep you aware of your goals and desires, thereby fostering self-awareness. In the end, self-awareness and self-actualization go hand in hand to keep your spiritual energy and are key to reaching enlightenment. Self-actualization The concept of self-actualization, discussed previously, is one that warrants further explanation. As mentioned, it is an ongoing process that inspires individuals to grow and experience joy at a peak level. Here are a few common traits a self-actualized person will show. Acceptance Beyond culture, religion, race, gender, or beliefs, a self-actualized person accepts others without judgment. Nonconformist They have not been easily influenced thanks to their strong opinions and beliefs. A self-actualized person stands for what they believe in and do not give in to others' opinions. Their agree-to-disagree nature may come across as pompous and rude, but it only shows they dislike the herd mentality and are not driven by material aspirations. Comfortable and relaxed. As soon as you meet a self-actualized person, you will get a warm and inviting vibe. Since they are comfortable in their own skin, they make sure others around them feel just as comfortable. Humanitarian. If you are a compassionate person who gets out of their way to help others, then you may be on the right path to achieving self-actualization. You can relate to others and empathize with them, a great attribute of self-improvement. Objective. You can expect a self-actualized person to have a broad outlook on the world and its diversity. They openly accept every culture and lifestyle and do not cast judgments. They despise closed-mindedness and are known for their neutral, objective, down-to-earth thinking. Problem Solver Rather than complain about their problem, 
These people take a practical stance and do their best to find solutions to their problems. They are fond of challenges and are ready to overcome any obstacle that blocks their path. Non-derogatory humor. They are humor-inclined beings, but a joke at other people's expense. Self-actualized individuals know their place, the consequences of their words, and prefer not to cross certain boundaries. Independent. They are independent thinkers and do not like to live off of others. They earn their own bread, seek out their own knowledge, and form their own beliefs based on their experiences. Creative. They possess a great sense of creativity and like to think outside the box when things do not go as planned. They will always impress you with their bright ideas, no matter the task or activity at hand. Curious. A self-actualized person is extremely curious and seeks knowledge wherever they can. You will often find them reading books, going through blogs, or watching documentaries and attending events to feed their curiosity and stimulate their intellect. If you possess most of these traits, you are more likely to experience life to the fullest and fulfill your dreams. If not, committing to self-improvement will help you get there. Self-actualization will make you a more compassionate, forgiving, creative, independent, humanitarian, and comfortable person. Emotional Well-Being Your emotions can come in the way of your journey of self-improvement which is why learning to control them is of the utmost importance. Consider these effective ways and simple tips to optimize your emotional well-being and be in control of your feelings. Practice gratitude. Write down three things you are grateful for every day. If you are constantly comparing yourself to others, this practice will steer your thoughts and attract blessings. Foster relationships. Talking to people you love can make a significant difference. If you cannot control your emotions, consulting an expert, a mentor, your partner, or a therapist can help. In parallel, sharing your positive experiences and accomplishments is also an essential part of the gratification process. You will want to experience them again, which is necessary to keep you focused on your goals. Journal. This is an effective way to face your fears and emotions. You may be afraid to confront reality or your emotions for fear of coming across as a bad person. With journaling, you can pour out your thoughts without fear of being judged by anyone. Entry after entry, you will feel as though you are addressing an active, non-judgmental listener, yourself. Ultimately, your emotional well-being will guarantee that you are in tune with your emotions and happy with your life. Do not confuse emotional stability with happiness, though. Being in tune with your emotions allows you to manage to flow in your life while establishing healthy boundaries. Chapter 6 Character and Personality Development Apart from your skills, physical well-being, and life purpose, your character and personality comprise major areas of your personal development. After all, it is your virtues that shape your influence on others and create your legacy. Resilience the state of your emotional well-being determines how resilient you are. In the face of adversity, many people are unable to cope with the negative consequences and setbacks. The ability to deal with adversity is known as resilience. While not many are blessed with this quality, the good news is that you can practice and build resilience over time. With resilience, you will be more conscious of yourself and your surroundings and will be able to control your emotions better. Rather than mull over a negative or unexpected situation, resilient people look for creative solutions and take their ordeals as learning opportunities. Resilient people are highly self-aware and acknowledge that life is full of ups and downs. One day, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor, and the other, you are forced to tackle unexpected situations. One of the most remarkable qualities of resilient people is their ability to be so resourceful. They will find solutions to problems by utilizing the knowledge they have developed and the strong connection they have built with others. If you cannot adapt to change or find it difficult to face trauma, incorporate these practices in your life to build resilience. Join community help groups. As mentioned, resilient people are very resourceful and always enjoy strong support from their group. 
Making connections and forging relationships is key to building a resilient spirit. Clubs and online forums or groups are examples of places to meet like-minded people and foster long-lasting relationships. Adopt a practical mindset. At times, being practical is the only way out of intense, stressful issues. Rather than ponder over what went wrong, build a step-by-step -step strategy to remedy the problem at hand. Being proactive will only help you become more resilient. For example, if you ever face a job loss, do not waste time being upset or convincing your boss to take you back. Instead, learn from your mistakes and build new skills to boost your market value. Apply for new jobs and secure interviews after revamping your resume. Stay on the move. While taking time off to avoid feeling overwhelmed is natural, do not let minor setbacks turn into permanent ordeals. Get back up on your feet and keep moving forward to achieve your goals. Do not focus on speed. Going slow is better than not moving at all, after all. Generosity and kindness. More often than not, how kind and generous you are is a reliable indicator of your character worth. Adopt a giving attitude and do not expect anything in return. It is the best way to create a sense of purpose and feel worthy. Being generous isn't always about going out of your way and giving more than you have. It also isn't about giving material possessions. It can be a random act of kindness, such as buying a homeless person a meal or volunteering at a local charity event. By paying it forward, you are doing what's right, and this is bound to reciprocate in incredible ways. That said, you should not focus on being generous just for the sake of receiving something in return. Good deeds only count if you give without expectations. This way, you can connect with others and create positivity around you. Humility Being humble and grounded is an equally significant yet underrated virtue, sometimes considered old school or unfashionable. In reality, being humble involves accepting your qualities and flaws and being aware of them. To be humble, a person knows they may not always be right and should consider the opinions of others in matters that they are unfamiliar with. This acceptance is often challenging, which is why developing humility can prove quite difficult. Humility is often confused with having low self-esteem. This is a grave misconception. Being humble means putting yourself on equal footing with others. Put differently, humility is the power to acknowledge that you are not perfect and you can improve in many areas of your life. The point isn't to belittle your self-worth and accomplishments. As such, the gap between realizing that you are not perfect and thinking less of yourself is where self-improvement kicks in. It is easier for people in lesser positions to be humble. Those in greater positions are often pompous because they know they are highly valued by members of society. Since others constantly seek their help, developing humility can be difficult. There are several examples of influential leaders who are quite humble, such as Mahatma Gandhi and former U.S. President Barack Obama. You can develop humility and become more grounded by following these golden rules. Listen before you speak. Your words can leave a strong impact on people, and as you know, words can hurt. Speaking mindlessly can provoke misunderstandings and arguments, which can also jeopardize valuable relationships. When responding to someone or expressing your point of view, think of what you would like to say before speaking and truly reflect on it to see if it fits your situation. Talk only when necessary. Never interrupt and let the other person finish before you respond. Ask for opinions and feedback. You can learn something from everyone. At times, seeking different viewpoints and being exposed to new perspective breaks the barrier and provides new forms of learning. Give honest compliments. This will show your appreciation and respect for other people's qualities and that you are not always full of yourself. Try to find something positive in everyone and compliment people warmly and honestly. Although this might sound anecdotal or ineffective, smiling can go a long way in strengthening your character and rapport with others. You not only come across as a more positive and attractive person, but the person in front of you is likely to mirror the same emotion. Whether it's your loved one or the Uber driver, 
Smile at everyone and maintain a cheerful face. Thank the people you are grateful for and those who stand by you during difficult times. More importantly, stay in good touch with the people who matter to you and from those who you can learn from. Master your craft. Invariably, learning a new skill will boost your confidence, self-esteem, and versatility. In fact, acquiring knowledge, building new skills, and mastering your craft will bring you closer to like-minded people and promote your growth. You will be more valued in your professional endeavors as well. Learn something new every once in a while and shuffle your interests to avoid monotony and stagnation. You can also take up two skills at once. For example, if you're learning to cook today, pair it with a new language course. Since both activities are different and require different skills, you will enjoy learning and mastering them simultaneously. Learning a new skill should not be an obligation. Only go for it if you are genuinely interested and see its potential benefits. Otherwise, you will give it up eventually, which will result in a lot of wasted time and effort. Taking up a skill should not come at the expense of your work and prior commitments. Time management is key to a good, sustainable routine. If you are not able to find the time, conduct DIY projects during the weekend. Fix the broken window in your house or build that new set of shelves you were going to buy for your bedroom. Take up a challenge and finish it. If you need help, look for online resources, watch tutorials, or call a friend or your mentor. Do not feel intimidated. You would be surprised at how many hidden talents and skills reside inside of you. In parallel, and as mentioned early on, Polishing your existing skills will make you better at what you do and set you apart from your competition. Mastering your craft will help a great deal in developing your personality and strengthening your persona. Conclusion We shall conclude by addressing a question that might have popped up in your mind while listening to this book. What is the point of self-improvement? We are all going to die one day. Is it even worth trying? The fact that we only have one life to enjoy should be reason enough to get excited and seek to better ourselves. The time you spend on this earth should be full of happiness and adventures. Living in the present and celebrating each moment is the true meaning of life. And this can only be experienced with a willingness to grow. Self-improvement and growth are vital to living a fulfilling and gratifying life. You are not just spending the years you are given, but leaving a legacy as well. Your story will be perpetrated through your heirs, and your memories will be etched into the minds of your loved ones long after you have departed. While this might strike you as too philosophical, it should not be taken for granted. The concept of self-improvement is not a myth. It can and will considerably impact your life. To sum it all up, Let's quote this famous saying by popular author Miguel Ruiz. If you can see yourself as an artist and you can see that your life is your own creation, then why not create the most beautiful story for yourself? We have a couple of decades to live, so let's make our existence worthwhile. Do you feel inspired to take the leap and kickstart your journey toward self-improvement and character development? Remember, it is never too late to become the best version of yourself. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and make an impact on both yourself and the world. By listening to this audiobook, the listener agrees that under no circumstances is the author responsible for any losses, direct or indirect, that are incurred as a result of the use of information contained within this audiobook, including but not limited to errors, omissions, or inaccuracies. This has been Personal Development for Beginners and Dummies. Written by Giovanni Richters. Narrated by Tim Cicerelli. Copyright 2021 by Giovanni Richters. Production copyright by Giovanni Richters.